Welcome back, everybody. This is Do You Even Star Made, the podcast. I'm here with Yelby and General Von Doom, and this is, like I say, episode six. Today, we're going to take a look at some shout outs to some uh, other YouTube creators on Star Made. Um, who who are soon. you people? <laughs> Where do you come from? And so, we're just going to shout out their names. I'm going to try and get their links in the uh, descriptions for the video and the podcast, but we'll see if we can get them all. Um, and like I say, if you're not on the list, get in touch. Mushroomfleet at gmail.com. Um, Starmate's been going for quite some time, two years at least, if not longer. I've been on it for a year. How long have you been on it, General? I've been on for about a year and a half or something like this now. What about you, Yeah? Doing Starmate. Half a year, maybe? Six months, six months. Yeah, and it's interesting, you know, because um, there was a bit of a dip. And uh, things are picking up again, which is noticeable, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I was actually talking to you earlier about how noticeable this is now. Yeah, it is. People are all coming back. It's almost as if they were out in the sun, you know, and now they're coming back inside. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Clutching their computers once more. Well, I'm going to go straight into the first and second sections, which won't take any time at all. So, one the Twitch streamers shout outs now there's a, a load more people that I'm sure we've missed but like I say get in touch so next time we do it we can shout you out um, so there's Yalby who's here tonight so there he is there's one and there's Muzzled Elk KY Computer Gaming with Saber Ryben Geek Ninja and Plus Nine um, so you can check out all those streamers um, we get streaming StarMade on a regular basis so give them a follow um, also, we got the YouTube shout out. So, the, all of these guys have posted to our member videos section on G Plus um, a couple of Star Made videos. So, there's Gaming with Saber, Apex Origin, Raven, Skylord Luke, Omega Cybrin, uh, I Am Kyle Me, Greg's Plays, Lego Assassin 57, Yelby 2, Joe Daler. Jason Kenny, Minecrafty Style, Four Planes of BCE Beza, that's Beza 13, uh, Reaper, that's Rip, Anthony Marmount, or Anthony Marmount, Richard Builder, Barnyard Bandits, Auriga City, Raging Potato, Incredulous Me 48, Cameron McCloskey, Mr. Devon Gaming, Ghost Liger 2, Prof Wildone, NHG, General Von Doom, who is Yay. here with us today. Ace Face, Videosaur, Skyzone Gaming, and Omega 117A. So thank you all for being a part of the Mushroom Fleet and posting your content up in our community. Anyone that posts up there, I try to get them on the list. Like I say, if we missed you, um, please get in touch. And like I say, all those channels should be linked um, in the video once this is uh, up. So, that was that. We did have a whyhole.org.uk spotlight tonight. But under Imperium Order, it's, it's a banned commodity, and we're not allowed to comment, unfortunately, on tonight. Why hole? Why yeah. hole? We'll, it's off to Why hole we go. We're going to try and get a representative from whyhole.org.uk to join us for an interview on a future episode. But until then, um, we're just going to have to move on to the work in progress corner. So uh, we already heard from General Von Doom last episode. So Yelby, what was the last thing you built? I can't buy Well, that was pretty easy. So I guess you got me. They've actually got Moving me. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they got me. Now I need to tell them. Okay, right. Recently I built a giant weeping space palm tree for my station entry for a trade station. Um, I built this ship that looks a bit like a handheld torch, like a creme brulee torch but the missiles fire off the side of the handle and it's all green and glowy um, and it hasn't got a name yet it's just called the mystery and the joke is it was supposed to be the size of an essence but I got a bit carried away and it's like a hundred meters tall so yeah, I saw that thing it was massive <laughs> it was massive I, it was supposed to be smaller I'll probably just mothball that for a rainy day and just build another one smaller to be honest um, but I tend to, if I go on StarMade, I tend to build something new. I like to build something new and then work on something and then maybe make something for fun and, you know, I have a strange pattern. But yeah. 
So let's move on to the last section of the podcast. So that was quick. We've burned through it today. So player demographics, how to attract a wider audience. Uh, I've also got a bullet point fauna and flora updates here. So I'm thinking it's not just about ages, but also about sex as well. You know, I think that uh, one of the big pulls with games like Minecraft is that they have an amazing crafting mechanic that's logically easy to anyone. And then it becomes fun for people to just play and survive in this little 3D world, no matter what the graphics look like. Um, and, you know, some people want to just farm stuff and make be- make well, bread, you know. Plus, you can also build whatever you like in creative mode, so you can just let your imagination flow and build whatever you like. It's peaceful sometimes it when you set true. it right, so that's probably what attracts a lot of people to that game. Mm. Well, I find that too. I find it very peaceful when I'm building in Star Made. Um, I don't think that people do enough on planets, but... Uh, I think that's a lot to do with the fact that it's kind of not relevant more than just for a tourism thing at the moment. Once well, you once you need to be honest, something there isn't really there. a reason to build on planets. To be honest, no. Everything you can do in the game can just be done in space. Mm. Like if you want a factory, you can just make a space station. It's like really tiny. I think it's also the portability as well. I've seen people making stations; so they can dock it to a station block because they've had enough with uh, losing their station and whatnot. So mm. they've just decided, nope, I'm just going to have a ship, and I'll dock the ship, and that will be my base. And that, I've seen people doing that on planets, so they just put a docking block down and then dock it up. You know? Yeah, well, to be honest, it's pretty easy just to lose your space station, especially when the servers, if you're playing on a server, just gets reset like yeah. pretty often. Yeah. Plus, if you're like me and you like to just install Star Made over and over again and lose your old, uh, old saves of the game mm. because mm. of formats and stuff, you're gonna lose those plans as well. It's easier just uh, copying over blueprints, to be honest. Mm, maybe it'd be nice if uh... talking about blueprints. Yeah, they'll be uh, doing blueprints for space stations, won't they? Well, that's the thing. They are they are blueprints in the sector. There is a station blueprint, you know, and it, it can be spawned in with load command. You can get in a station and hit slash save, and then type a name, and you can use load and that name to load it back in. Um, and the idea is that you take that file from your uh, blueprints folder and you place it into one of the new faction uh, AI faction folders. So obviously that's all to do with the. Uh, station competition which i think we're going to cover next 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 episode um but that's quite a hard thing to cover or audio, audio in audio format because obviously it's like descriptive it's like oh wow look at this amazing station and everyone's just listening <laughs> oh my god if it only you could amazing. see this Why does right it look now like? describe it yeah describe it to me it's it just looks amazing <laughs> holy crap Yep. I got fight this thing. I know. It's just if only you could see it right now, you'd cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> so. So yeah. So that's that's pretty much it for this week, guys. Um. Oh no! Wait. What am I talking about? Flora and fauna. Uh, a- yeah. ali- aliens and farming. And like more stuff to go on planets to make it more alive. Like, what kind of things could you think of before we go away? Let's let's go round the room and see if we can get a bunch of suggestions. So, what about? Well, I'm just going to go in and say creeping vines that hang off trees and cliffs. Like, I'd, I'd I'd probably say like little critters roaming around planets. Yeah. That chew on your ships. Oh wow, I'd love it if they chewed on your ship. If they had an alien that wasn't bothered about players, was scared of players, so it wouldn't go anywhere near the ship until the players left the ship, and then as soon as you leave, do you know what I mean? Mm. They come up and start chewing their way through your co- through to your core or something. They want to get at the juicy core goo. That's how they love it. It's like catnip to them, you know? But like that's then you'd need a crewman to stay on your ship and guard it. 
because they wouldn't well, that's go anywhere where near. NPCs could come in. Exactly, handy. yeah. Because then you need, you, then you better hire a crew when you go on the planet with your shuttle, else it'll get eaten and you'll be stuck there. I love it. I think that would be an amazing little mechanic. I mean, obviously, I'm sure they've thought of all this stuff and they've probably got a better idea, you know. But probably. just that that meta game. Is... That'd be awesome for an episode on YouTube, to be honest. It would. It would make just a good like, video. You're having to hire mercenaries to protect your ship from little critters on the planet you're going to explore on. Mm. Or maybe it's a secret base and you've got to rescue some scientist who's being forced against his will to work Princess for the monkey Leia. men. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Hang on a minute. The space monkeys! So what about you, Yelby? What do you think about flora and fauna? Space fungus. Space fungus. I like that. That grows. Gross. You can grow your own ship. You can grow your own ship? Wow, what, like, you you build a box around the mushroom, and then let it grow, and then take away the bo bo box. Like, make a Plex store mold. There is actually another game that plans to do that. Is there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's just not been gone very far in development so far because of networking issues. Right. In multiplayer. Right. You know which one I'm talking about, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that I know which one you mean. Space cow. As soon as it gets all that stuff in there, I'll be covering it. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We're coming straight back to you with episode seven soon. So be sure to follow on SoundCloud, and we'll see you next time.